In this module, we've explored various views on what surface and deep learning are, and considered not only the differences between them, but also how they relate and interact with one another. We considered the ways that broader Western perspectives on teaching, learning, and schooling had evolved and changed over time, and how contemporary approaches to learning that get students active and engaged can take students from surface to deep learning. We then looked more closely at some of the ways that neuroscience can support and inform teachers in their day-to-day -day classroom activities. Perhaps the most significant understanding is that our brains are not divided into neat separate bits that work independently. While different parts of the brain certainly have different functions, there is a dynamic, interact relationship between them. Things like age and stages of development, culture and subjective human experiences like the food that you have and what time of the morning you wake up can have a profound impact on learning. Perhaps it is here in the ongoing mind-brain debate that we catch a glimpse of the possibilities that arise from interdisciplinary dialogue. When different disciplines interact with one another, the siloing of information starts to break down. So while neuroscience is interested in the biology of the brain, socio-cultural perspectives consider the learner in the context of the learning environment. Put together, we can get a fuller, more nuanced and satisfying picture of the complex and fascinating process of human learning. By creating spaces for dialogue and inviting educators to be a part of the conversation, teachers and learners everywhere are the beneficiaries.